Oh, hi. I had a customer bring in this um, Gritch Jim Dandy for a setup. He's finding it hard to play. He had it set up for slide. He sort of over, over the slide thing now, and he wants to get it up more to concert pitch and finger pick and stuff like that. So he didn't know what to do. So uh, it needed a complete setup uh, for that. So here's what I did, and you can do it yourself. You don't have to be a pro to, to do this. Uh, makes no sense to spend big bucks on a, such an inexpensive guitar. I mean, you can do that if you want to. And maybe you're just happy with it the way it is, but uh, he wasn't, and I'm, I wasn't. Um, I put on new strings. These are um, the uh, Retro Martins which are uh, nickel, sort of reminds me of the old black diamond. <laughs> uh, I think it's more appropriate for this guitar rather than have phosphor bronze on. And the old timers didn't use phosphor bronze, they used nickel strings. Um, so let's go through it. Um, I did the bridge the saddle and I just uh, pulled it out and did the sandpaper job few times got it down I guess maybe about a millimeter and just put it back on that helped step one um, step two was the nut and um, the nut was too high horror of horrors most nuts are too high uh, and you can hardly uh, blame blame them they they're selling these guitars uh, and even more expensive guitars, you know, very competitive at a price and they crank them out and nobody's spending a heck of a lot of time just massaging that nut just right for easy playability. So uh, that's pretty much of a given. So, uh, oops, there's two ways to do that. You can knock the nut, nut off and then sandpaper from the bottom or you can just do the slots. I did it with the slots. Now I have a, a uh, fret uh, nut, nut files, but you don't need to spend that kind of money if you want to do this yourself. These the ten dollar rings with the little cutters on, maybe six or seven or eight or something. It's nothing sophisticated, but you know, it's okay to use once in a while on your own guitar if you need to. And uh, you just start and get it close to the right diameter and. Uh, I could tell how low to go almost by sight, uh, and there's different ways to do it depending on the technician. You can make measurements with the with gauges, but I an easy way is just to go to your third fret here, press down, and this should have just a wee bit of play. Or as you watch it, it just lays down on that fret, and you can go through that. Just how do I have it? Pretty much just laying on that first fret. Yeah, pretty much. And um, you won't get into trouble when you're like that. Now, by that time, your, your strings are going to be, depending on the job, um, just laying underneath, really, the top level of the nut. They're going to be buried and you don't want that. You can get false tones. It could hurt your uh, sustain. So loosen your strings, take them to the side and then just get a flat file and just get everything down so that the string is starting to get just above, above the top level of the nut. So they're not buried. So I did that also. You can't really see it, but you know what I'm talking about. They're not buried. And um, then um, I also um, adjusted the neck. The neck had, it was uh, concave, not, not in a crazy way, but <laughs> this is a very short scale. So uh, you just don't, 
need that kind of a relief. Uh, there's not much amplitude in these strings. So I wanted to get it straight or almost straight, and I got it almost straight. There's just a hair play there. And that's okay. That's okay. So, uh, uh, yeah. I think you'll like it. It's much easier to play. So there you go. Set up on Zeol of Jim Dandy. Thanks for watching.